It's been a bit of a challenge just getting in here in that the weather hasn't cooperated for over a week and we've been trying to get into the mountains for, for that long. I think I got dressed two or three different times and ready to roll and then you said stand down. Well, there's not, not good enough to fly. Work. Even now it's super windy, but we finally made it in here. We're in the middle of August. Now it's your turn. I've been looking forward for almost half a month, right? Because we, we were thinking that we we're going to get out here the first day or two, and it didn't happen. But now we're here. Well, it didn't happen because priorities happened. Priorities took over. And you weren't and priority. I wasn't the priority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weather was so much nicer then. It's going to be a little cooler, a little rainier this time around, I think. Yeah, it's going. we're going to earn it versus sweating. Now we're just going to have to deal with cold. Not freezing. No, it's not going to be freezing. Howdy. Gang's all here. Gang's all here. Dad's turn to hunt. We're after doll sheep, and we've got a good spot. I know that there's sheep in these hills. It's just a matter of us picking them apart, continuing to do what we do, and don't leave until it's done. There's only one way up there, isn't there? Yeah, that's up. That's walking. <laughs> that, that's that's walking. walking. So we're looking, uh, it's gonna be quite a journey. Sheep hunting. My tag, I, I'm not thinking I... You only needed to pack one thing. We're missing a critical piece of the, of the puzzle, which is a sheep tag. I know where it is. Where is it? It's in the trailer in my moose hunting gear. But moose season doesn't start for us for another month. <laughs> I guess I don't need to rub it in any more than I already have. I need to know where your moose hunting gear is, Dad. That's so stupid. Well, I, don't, I just need to know where it is. Yeah, well, that's, you can beat that's where it is. The, the, ba the bag is in, in the trailer at the very front. What color is the bag? I think it's right in the bottom of the bag. It's, if it's not in there, it's in the zip part. Can you call Connie, do you think, and have her get it ready? Take it down to the airstrip for you. My mother is... Uh, She's not known for picking up the phone. She tends to just not pick up the phone. <laughs> and that kind of looks like the situation right now. So, yeah, I guess it'll just be <laughs> a little bit longer before we get to hunt. Were you able to get home, I'll Mom? I'll see you guys later. Sorry about that. Greg's gonna have to fly back into Car Cross and hopefully get a hold of my wife, Connie, and get the tag picked up. I know where it is. How you do that is beyond me. I mean, when you're in and out of this, getting ready for the, to go hunting, the first thing you think about is your clothing, your tag, your rifle, your shells, and you go through that whole routine. And it's just a normal thing for hunting to get everything organized prior to leaving. And I left mine in my moose kit. No excuse, that's just brutal. But like they say in the real world, it happens. They're not gonna smile. There's nothing to smile about right now. Looking good, man. Are you ready to go on the big hunt? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fire you got going. It won't be that long before you'll be harvesting an animal yourself. Should be. What do you have to be? How old? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, not too far off. How old are you now? I'm turning nine. Yeah. I'm sure my dad is not super happy with himself at the moment, but in a few days' time, that'll all be forgotten when we have a sheep on the ground, and we won't have to think about this uh, until it's funny. Once it's funny, then we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. <laughs> it's not quite funny yet. Certainly not for him. Uh, I'm over it. Now it's time to get hunting. So now we just gotta park this plane for the next week or so, and then we can get after it. 
When Greg uh, first learned that I got the draw, he was pretty surprised about it all. Actually, I was quite taken by it because I didn't realize how important this really is. And not everybody gets this opportunity. <laughs> what? Well, thank you. So, I'm gonna treasure this one. It's an honor to be able to come up and hunt in this area and uh, most certainly looking forward to it. It's good? Yeah. Okay, let it down. It's a year later since the last time I was able to get out hunting with, with you two. It's been a lot of planning, a lot of strategy, how we're gonna attack this mountain block, and that's where we're heading. So, we've done an airdrop, which is gonna take off five days of food off of our backs right now. So we've got a number of days in the packs. We've got over a week's worth of food all together. The majority of it's already up the mountain, which is a nice That's bonus. That's a good thing. That airdrop was not easily done, and we know it's supposed to rain. So that's what we have to look forward to. Well, we've lived through snowstorms and rain before, so I don't think we're gonna melt. <laughs> we're definitely not gonna melt. We just gotta put it together. We've got one river to cross. We'll see how deep it is with all the water that we've had this year. You staying for a month? Now that you have that out, thank you. Watch, I'll show you how this works. Why are you brushing your teeth? It's like that, because they need it. Oh well. I forgot my goggles. Not getting better, fellas. Look at that. He must be on his nest. How you making out? <laughs> no answer is not a good answer. My hips are really bugging me. I'm taking your weight. No, no, leave me for a while. Leave me for a while. Colton, take your pack off. You're, take, you're taking more weight. No, come on. Carry the gun then? You want to try carrying it? Yeah. It's pretty heavy. It seems that Dad's struggling already, so team has to take a little bit more weight, right? You know, health-wise, I, I feel really good. It's just uh, I'm not used to walking, obviously, in terrain like this, which I don't do every day. I'm very active, very mobile. But this is taking its, uh, I wouldn't say taking toll, but I know I'm in the mountains. Even though it looks like it's easy walking, there's not one easy step at this point. I guess uh, we're still moving forward. It's positive. The update is uh, not going to get any easier, so. It is what it is. I guess we keep on trudging.
How you doing, Blue? See, you're up ahead. I'm in the middle, and he's down there. I'm enjoying this. You know why I'm enjoying this so much? Is because someday, that's gonna be me, and this is gonna be you. We're doing about 20 yards per rest stop. One step at a time. See that? Can you make it out? Oh. This is a good trail all the way to the top. Oh yeah, it's a workout, man, whoa. I think, um, I think this is like the, the hardest hunt I've been on. You say that every time. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this has got to be the hardest hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> hardest hunt today. No, seriously, the hunts are getting, uh, the degree of angle is much greater on this hunt than it was on the last hunt, even though there were times that we climbed like this, but not all the time. This is serious, straight up and down. They're like Billy Goat Country. What would I know about Billy Goat Country, right? I say we're a third of the way up the mountain, for sure. It's it's time consuming. We we're not breaking any land speed records, but that's not what it's about. It's about this is Dad's fifth hunt, sheep hunt, and we're just going to take our time. We're going to enjoy it. We're going through this bush, tough stuff. Yeah, it's one of those things, steep and bushy. Yeah, bad combination. Oh. We are in the right country. Like I'm, I've seen, I think there's about 15 rams over there, way down the valley. There's another probably 10. We've got 30 sheep over here. We are in the right country. And it doesn't matter how long it takes us. We just put, like dad said, one foot in front of the other and we just keep going. And eventually that's how you obtain any goal, whether it's sheep or whether it's anything else in life. You can't push them too hard. And this is literally the steepest part of, of this mountain. Uh, the way that we've come up here, we've batted around a few different options. Um, longer hike, but more gradual up a drainage. And we decided on this to throw the airdrop almost at 75% uh, of the way up this mountain. Um, we're not gonna make it to the airdrop tonight for sure, but this is probably the best way to get us up there. And, we just have to find ourselves a flat spot here before too long and take some of the weight off Dad. And just keep going. Okay, so I can see the airdrop. See, okay, so go straight down from the sun into the middle of that mountain and start scanning. And you'll see the, the white and orange bags. Oh yeah, I see it. You see the both of them? Yep. I see two bags, how many are there? Just two. Yeah. Looks like a good spot right, right up here. You ready to shut it down? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get something to eat and get my wind back. Oh, there's the caribou going up to the snow patch where we're gonna go to. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. How far away? You find us a spot here to put tents up? There's a lot of sheep in here to look at. All right, here we go, buddy. Let's Get in here. Camp. Cheers. Yep, right in there. You got it. <laughs> right in the center? Yep, just like that. It's good to be here. Home away from home. Greg and Coulter just built me a castle on the hill, so I'm I'm really thankful. I'm grateful to be here right now. I'll tell you, I'm tired. I actually I'm the one that said time time to take a break. So we're here and we're in a good spot. Greg's really happy with the area that we're in, and this is it for me. I'm saying good night, have a good evening, hasta la vista. I'm going to bed. Take care. What do you think of it out there, buddy? Not fun. What do you mean, not fun? Look at that, you've been waiting for snow all summer. Oh, and now you got it. Oh, yeah.
I thought you wanted to go snowboarding. There's not enough snow. Oh. To be completely honest, this is not something I expected this morning. I see Dad's tent is... <laughs> there's a lot of snow on it. I don't know, haven't talked to him yet, but I can't imagine that he's too super keen on uh, jumping out of the tent and running up the mountain. We'll probably have a team debrief and uh, continue to hunker down. It's day three of our hunt, and as you can see in here, the rain is coming in and it snowed overnight. We're just having to put up with what we got, and my little buddy here visiting me, and we're having a chat. I'm teaching him how to spell Mississippi, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna be here, I guess, for the rest of the day. We're not going anywhere likely until tomorrow. Hopefully things, the skies clear up and we get an opportunity to go hunting, right, buddy? Yeah. Are you looking forward to getting out there and get going? Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> it's boring. It's boring for me, too. Makes for a long day, you know, sitting in a tent. But it gives you a perspective when you've got lots of time to think about, imagine being up on Everest or someplace like that and having to wait for weeks in your tent to get a, an opportunity to go up, uh, climb that mountain. Here we are waiting for a day and it's, it's not easy. As you look down below, you can see it's still green where it rained obviously and it's been raining steady ever since we put our tents up last night. We've been battling the weather for a week before the hunt even started and it seems to continue. Although we knew getting in yesterday was probably one of our only weather windows and as today's warmed up, it's certainly melting off. So hopefully that trend continues and I don't think that there's a whole lot of point in going up to the mountain when it's socked in and clouds in, it rains, it, you know, it's just sporadic. So it's been interesting. This is my third day, this is your second day. I came in one day earlier. So looking forward to getting in here and getting it done. And it's lifting. Yeah. The clouds are lifting. So look at behind us. It's amazing. Maybe Coulter and you. Rainbow. Yeah, look at the nice. rainbow. Look at that. Beautiful. Maybe we'll go for a walk over this way and see if we can look up into that bowl. How's that? Okay. Okay, let's do All that. Right. Have a good time, buddy. Give me five. Go for it. The day is certainly getting a lot better than it was this morning and the snow is going to be a problem. There's no doubt until it melts off and that could be days from now but you know that's sheep hunting in uh, in the Yukon no matter what time of the year you're out here so we will uh, go for a hike and get the blood moving what do you say we Get down out of the wind and glass all this valley here. Take a look over there. See if we can find those sheep from yesterday. But I think that because the wind has been coming out of the north, northwest, for the last day, the sheep might have come over and down into these cliffs. But they could be anywhere down here, so we gotta be you just gotta keep your eyes open. Okay, we got rams, boys. We have got rams and we got some good ones. One good one. There's five all together. Three legal and two not. Right on the very top. I see all five. There's good sheep in here. We don't wanna walk up there and just take the first decent sheep that we see. I think that we should really try to take a look at as many sheep as we possibly can within the limitations that obviously dad has. The amount of miles that he can put on in a day and realistically in the snow and you know, slippery footing is not ideal. We'll just kind of play it by ear, but I'll go back to the camp tonight and let him know what we saw and kind of let him think about it, and, but we know we have to get to the top of the mountain tomorrow if the weather is good, and that's where we have to be. So we got to make it that far. Hey, Pa. Yeah. Are you awake? I'm awake. I found five rams. You did? Yep. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that they're what we're looking for at this juncture. Well, the snow's really receded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unbelievable. If the, the sun stays out, it'll burn it off. Yeah. 
but there's a lot of snow up high. Is there? And they're right up in the snow. I'm looking out the door here and I'm looking at the mountains over there and oh my God, what a day, what a change in one day, eh? 24 hours, it's just yeah. bizarre. Unexpected, but here we are. No, that's, that sounds great, that's awesome. That's a good word. Okay.